But welcome back everybody, it's me GSD Back again with some more Eastward We got the crab? Uh, we have Uh, hold on Hold on Whatever, I know we got it We got the king crab Gotta cook for the competition Hopefully nobody comes here to Sabbath Hosh John, hurry! Lee's gonna be here any minute! John, the dough! Big or small? The crab! Get the crabs! Oh no, we don't have enough ginger! Oh no! Alva ate my pudding! Sam! Crap, 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 crap! The crabs! The crabs are getting away, John! Uh. Leave it to me! Check, check the toilet for a crab. No toilet, crab. Check upstairs for a crab. 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 I think we got them all. That's all of them. Time to take the crabs back to John. Two, three, four, five, six! John! I caught all the crabs! Yeah! There we go. Crab in a pot. Something smells good in here! Have you guys already started cooking? Lily, it's totally going down this time! Jasper. John! Sam! The troop! The troop is done for! You must help us! If tonight's show isn't a rousing success... Where have you been all this time? We'll... We'll... Be forced to leave New Damn City! Don't sweat it. The Rocket Knight Legion is on the job. Rocket Knight Legion? Sweet! Sounds like, sounds just like Earthborn. I just thought it up while walking through the door. Pretty good, don't you think? Don't worry, Jasper. The Rocket Knight Legion is going to make everything right again. Just don't eat my crab pot. <sighs> Jasper, where the ass have you been this whole time? Huh? The crabs are doing good. All right. As long as the crabs are still in the bucket. You hear that, you good for nothings? I need that money, and I need it today. You can't just raise the rent like that. At least give us a bit more time. Huh. You too. Oh, that's... Oh, I know this guy. You two ha bit hack jobs. I could give you ten years and you'd never pay back the money. If you don't pay me what you owe me, well... You better just start packing your bags. You hear me? Out! You'll be out! What are you looking at? Out of my way! Never fear, my friends. I've returned! And look who I've brought! It's over already. We're finished. No ifs, ands, or buts. We don't pull off a miracle tonight, and we're out of here. Better to start thinking about what we'll do after we leave. Go? But you guys can't go! Then I'll never be able to eat your ice cream again! Sorry, little bun. It's not like we want to go. Must admit. Had we known this would be the conclusion, perhaps we would never have come to this city at all. 
Quiet! All of you! What kind of performer abandons with our... With their... Abandons their own audience! Well, I've really messed that one up. Jasper's got a point. I kind of agree. I mean it. How can we just abandon our audience, huh? But... So what are we waiting for? Let's practice like the Dickens. Then show the city just what the Fantasia train is made of. Let's do it, let's do it, dude. let's do it! Their worry isn't unwarranted. If we open tonight's show in our current state, we'll be nothing short of a disastrous disaster. You must help us! There must be something we can do! Where the ass have you been this whole time, man? You don't come and visit us? And now you're asking for a favor? Huh? The battle commences tonight! What do you need? Beetle Force, assemble! Earth! Wind! Fire! No, no, no! Again from the top! Uh, excuse me? Is there any way perhaps I could be of help? Huh? Oh, it's just you, Jiang. What? Don't tell me you want to join, do you? I'm er, not quite sure that would work. Perhaps if we got her a change of a tire. You know, to uh, exaggerate things a little. A brilliant idea! Yeah, but what are... Yeah, but where are we gonna get something like that? We don't even got money to put food on the table. <laughs> I've got just the ticket. The perfect costume. On the second floor of the Coin Palace, you'll find some... <laughs> paraphernalia. You two don't think you could go and grab it for us, do you? You're so familiar with this paraphernalia, why not fetch it yourself? I... I have my reasons, you know? Perhaps... Besides, we've got to practice, right boys? Didn't you just go there the other day, though? Maybe he was looking for a costume for Jang. No, no, no. The way I remember, he was going to meet some woman. What was her name again? That woman behind the counter? Uh, Lily, was it? That's right, Lily! How did things go with her, anyway? Would you two shut up already? I, yeah, I agree. What does this have to do with the story? Anyway, it's a simple job. You guys should be fine. You'll find the stuff on the second floor of the Coin Palace. Should be three pieces total. You can't miss them. Just leave it to us. All right, let me... Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. There's a quest over here? Let me talk to all the people in the can. Hello? I'm trying to talk to you. Why do you look so sad? Dorcas? Mine is a tale of woe, I'm afraid. The name's Dorcas. And I'm Malorcas! No one asked you! I'm a clown here in the troop. As if that weren't obvious. I used to have an act called Boxes of Fright. Fright is right. Those creepy dolls you had popping out of the boxes were enough to haunt kids' dreams. You should have seen all the complaints we got from parents. That's why I'm changing it. Yes, I have a new act now. A real showstopper. I call it The Slight is Right. More like The Slight is Wrong, where this guy's concerned. His hands are as slow as molasses. Even a baby'd be able to see through the awkward mess he calls an act. I don't need to hear that from you! <laughs> and yet, I know he's right. 
my hands just aren't nimble enough to pull off the trick. He talks real slow. Let me see. Maybe I can do something to help. Really? You watch my act? Oh, joy of joys. Don't be too harsh on him. His pride's as brittle as an eggshell. <sighs> Here it goes. Not too hard to... This point, right? Now, watch this. Head already a jumble, is it? But wait, there's more! Now, where do you think the ball is? I think it's in the middle. Is that your final answer? Yes. Are you absolutely completely sure? Yes. Oh, well, you were right. It's true. I really am awful at this. My hands are just too slow. Need to speed up, my dude. Maybe I should just give up. Well, thanks anyway for trying to help. Feel free to come back anytime. I'm always here. No, you gotta... You gotta... Get practice. Alright, watch carefully now. Won't hold back this time. Don't be too harsh on him. His prize is brilliant snake. I'll say the middle. Yeah. Yeah! I know it's on the right. Wait, what? I thought it was on the right! Wait! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! It was on the right, right? Uh, I'm... Wait. I... Huh? Hold on. I picked the right. I mean, it, I saw it go on the right. Okay. It's in the middle now, so we'll pick right. Wrong! <laughs> I did it! I really did it! Maybe I'm not terrible at this. I'll even give you a chance to try again. Here it goes. Wrong! Ha <laughs> I did it! I really did it! Maybe I'm not horrible at this at all! Thank you, truly! I feel on top of the world right now! Why, my hands feel positively electric! I can feel anyone! You did a good deed, right? That's good. We made somebody happy. But, uh... We weren't. We weren't too hard on him. Ever tell you, man? I'm actually the driver here. Lately, it seems more and more like we're gonna get forced out. I'd miss the sweet lightning at Lightning Max the most. But hey, man, I guess I'd actually have something to do then. Lightning Mix! Lightning Mix! Hey, another- Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! So many people have requests! Gotta help everybody. Well, hey there. Care to listen to the ramblings of an old musclehead? I'm this troop's all-star pitcher, you know. Why would a circus troop need a pitcher? I'm glad you asked. Heh, <laughs> my fastball is one of the most popular acts, you know. Throw it again, Cage! Raging Cage, the star shooter! That's what they called me. Couldn't get enough of my white and red streaks. Then our business and our audience began to wane. Found myself pitching less and less. To the point where I was losing my touch. A rusty pitcher. 
Could it get much worse? But what could I do? Didn't have anyone to practice with. My fastball's just too, well, fast. John, why don't you give it a try, huh? You could help him. You? Think you've got what it takes to hit my fastball? Of course. Well, I'll be someone finally willing to go up against my fastball. Then let's get things fired up. Whoa! Oh, it's B. Yeah! No, bro. Oh, he's powered up. Get out of my face. Whoa, 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 wow, we, I caught it. This feeling, this feeling. It's like all that passion, all that pan fried pizzazz. That's straight into my palm. Ooh. That's the stuff. That's the feeling I've been missing. Crowds will be shouting my name again tonight. Hooray, we helped another dude, I think. Gotta say, you're one tough cookie. Let's do it out again sometime. But first, gotta strike out that money grubbing whisker face. This costume they're talking about, I hope it helps. I just really want to help everyone. This is... Not... We're looking for a queen costume? The wig. That one's not open. This is... Okay! I'm not... Hey! Wait. I'm not... I'm not shaming nobody's... It's gotta be this whip! Just two pieces left. They've gotta be somewhere around here. I'm not kink shaming nobody, alright? I ain't kink shaming nobody. It's a wig, I guess. What a pretty wig! Just one piece left. Look at this! <laughs> <laughs> this game is so funny sometimes. <laughs> oh my god. All right, and the the mask. Oh. So, this mask it must be part of the costume. John! Sam! Sam, we I don't think you sh you're not supposed to be here. That's it. All the pieces of the costume. Come on, John, let's head back. Uh here you go. Oh, you folks did it! I knew asking you to do this was the right choice. This... This is what you want me to wear? That's it. But it's a bit... Embarrassing, don't you think? Now you say it's embarrassing? But these kind of folks went all the way to the coin battles to get it for you. You were the one who wanted to help. Truly, these delicate garments would weep at losing the chance to adorn your form, m'lady. Uh, okay. Just, uh, give me a, a moment, please. Bow before me, maggots! What?! On your knees! This is brilliant! Did I say you could speak, Worm? I am the Beetle Queen! I can't thank you enough for retrieving this costume for me. Yes, perhaps some sort of reward is in order. <laughs> no need to worry. It won't be anything too painful. Just leave tonight's performance to me. The men in this city won't know what hit them. Yes. Ready your stakes, boys, because tonight, the tents shall rise. 
Whoa! <laughs> what the? <laughs> wow, who knew Jang was so eloquent? Who's this Jang you speak of? I'm the Beetle Queen! How utterly splendid! I knew you two would pull through. Tonight's carnival is going to be a smashing success. I just know it! However, there is one thing we still need you to do. Yes, a job of utmost importance. An important job? What is it, huh? What is it? Selling tickets? Welcome! Welcome. Welcome, welcome! You gotta smile, son! Smile! Ugh. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome! Ah, it's Mung! Well, if it isn't Her Majesty's little bee, you going to the carnival too? Nah, I have to work. Aren't you responsible? <laughs> Good luck with that. Welcome! And now, taking the stage, Kitty, the ferocious jungle cat, and her trainer, El Tigre. Can we go watch now? Can't. Gotta work. Welcome. Well, hello there, Sonny. Welcome. Um, hmm. Weird kid. And now, the fastest arm in this side of the dam. The steel armed wonder raging cage, Olsen. I wanna watch. You gotta work. But it's so boring. Can I just watch for a bit? Go on, Sam. Ah, John, our crab pot. <sighs> Again. Can I ask Alva? Alva? Ah. Overcooked. How disappointing. If they'd actually been able to recreate that crab pot, <laughs> I might have actually been forced to throw in the towel. Seems Lady Luck is on my side. <laughs> Lily's not gonna know what hit him. He'd never in a million years expect that John could make his beloved big damn crab pot. <laughs> Lovely. Here comes my migraine. Y'all couldn't have watched the goddamn crab pot for me? Wait, is that a cigar I smell? Lily's already here. You haven't touched anything, have you? If you've sabotaged all of John's hard work... Oh, you've done a far better job at that than I ever could. Hey! You can't just walk out of here! This is the big damn crab pot! Your favorite! Yeah, yeah, and let me just ask you one thing. Will you? What's the most vital thing to remember for a successful crab pot? Why, just the right amount of time in the pot, of course. Oh no! Yeah, thanks. I've seen enough. Though I'm a bit hungry for some crab now. I'll need to have my chef cook me a replacement. I'm kinda actually pissed. I'm actually kinda pissed. She's the one that sent me to help the circus troupe. Lee! 
You have one chance left. <laughs> Are you even taking this seriously? You've yet to produce even a single dish I can actually eat. You had time to go play around at the circus. Why not put those heads to good use and actually think of something good? Next time! Next time you're going down! Come on, John! Let's head back inside. We can still, uh, eat this, right? If you don't have any taste buds, maybe. But it was only barely overcooked! It can't be that bad! Do you not remember the time you ate those mushrooms? Playing around at the circus. Ha! Who does he think he is, huh? We weren't playing around. Huh? Wh what's that smell? Smell? You mean the crab pot? I is this John's crab pot? How'd it turn out so, so, so... You didn't add something weird to it, did you? Hey, my cooking isn't that bad. It's just overcooked. These crabs are a little uh, delicate. It's really easy to overcook them. I guess we'll have to try again tomorrow then. I wouldn't if I were you. If I know Lee, he's already gorging himself on crab pot right now. And without that spark of pure, unadulterated, childlike surprise, I just don't know if it'll have the same effect. Then what are we gonna do? What are you waiting for? Just knock! But this is the princess's house. Who is it? We're here to see John and Sam. C could we come inside? Of course you may. Just uh, don't let the smell bowl you over. Ah, it's you guys. Holy wowza, this is the princess's house? It's ginormous! Huh? And everyone from the troop is here too. Somebody slapped me with a dead fish. What is that smell? I'm having visions of Jasper's socks. Oh, that's just our crab pot. Our, um, slightly overcooked crab pot. Thought the princess's house would be pink. Yeah, and smelling like cookies and fairy dust or something. Quiet! No one wants your pitiable appraisal. The show, how did the show go? It was... A booming success! It was? Oh gosh, oh wow! Then that means you guys can stay, right? You don't have to leave? Indeed, which just leaves your little problem. Our little problem? Yes, Jasper already filled us in. He said the two of you have gotten yourselves embroiled in a little wager with Lee. You folks sure got balls of steel going up against THE Lee. Only New Damn City's most curtastic crime lord. A real son of a snake, that one. At any rate, it seemed like the perfect time for our troop to step in and save the day. Lily's not really that bad. S so cute. Lily's not really that bad. Could say the same for her body, eh? Hey! Thank you! W what I meant to say was, uh, gifts! We brought gifts! Gifts to help you wipe that smug grin off of Lee's face. You mean all of this is for us? Holy cow, this is amazing! Is this snow plane cactus? 
Wow, I've never seen this in the flesh before. Stupendous. The princess has such a keen intuition. And is this cheese? It looks a little weird. It's cheese from my hometown, but not just any cheese. This is hard rock cheese. These are called fright shrooms. They're so good, they'll give you a fright. <laughs> what? No good? They look like normal mushrooms. This, this, this is amazing. Now we're gonna win for sure. Quick, John, we gotta get cooking. It smells so good. It certainly looks more appetizing than our previous attempts. But I still can't help but feel that we're missing that yes factor, that ultimate clincher. I found them! I found them! Huh? It's Jasper! Allow me to introduce the great, the brilliant, William the Merchant! Oh, and his assistant Daniel! I don't need to talk to these idiots. We meet again. You guys know each other? We first met on board Charon. We also gave them the glazy berries yesterday. That's not suspicious at all. Don't worry, we're not trying to trick you this time. Let me do the talking, please. After hearing that our magnanimous benefactors had found themselves in a crisis, we thought it only right that we offer a recompense of sorts. And the suspicion grows. Let's just hear what they have to say. Have you fine ladies ever heard of Quake Valley? You mean the dump? Yes, yes. It has developed that mm, alias, as it were. I think I've already been there. There's a lot of earthquakes there. So people call it Quake Valley. And not just any quakes, you see. If my intel is correct, those quakes are caused by a rather rambunctious creature known as the Temblor Fish. Yeah, but that thing's not edible. An astute observation, my dear princess. I see you've done some research of your own. <laughs> well, mostly thanks to Izzy. But have any of you ever given any thought as to why that fish causes his tremulous tremblos? We're still not really sure. Maybe it's got an itch? And... And, and because it doesn't have any hands, it can't scratch it? An excellent hypothesis, Sam. You may be a scientist yet. But a flawed conclusion, I'm afraid. No, the reason behind this is a bit more gluttonous. Did you know that fish are quite sensitive when it comes to earthquakes? Even the slightest tremor will send them hopping and skipping atop the water surface. Yeah, but what does that have to do with anything? It has everything to do with everything. For you see, our gourmandizing friend uses these quakes to dine on its Pison brethren. What a smart fish! Indeed, but what's next is key to this whole affair. The bulk of this fish's diet, you see, consists of a fish so delicate, so delectable, so dreamy. Why, you'd never want to partake of any other fish again. The Golden Valley Snapper. Yeah, 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 we all know that. That thing's basically primo when it comes to gourmet cuisine. The Golden Valley Snapper smells like lilies and tastes as sweet as honey. Its flesh has a tantalizing texture that dances in your mouth. And not only that, it's full of nutrients too. It's the cream of the crop when it comes to fish. Quake Valley's diamond in the rough. 
This fish sounds amazing! The only problem is it's very crafty. You can't catch it like normal fish. Only the Templar fish has ever been able to catch it. Putting two and two together then, it would seem our task is simple. If we find the Templar fish, we find our snapper. Wait just a minute here. Who said we'd agree to any of this yet? Of course, whether you choose to set forth on this venture is completely up to you. Yet, I cannot be the only one thinking that your choices are, shall we say, limited. I've gotta admit, I've got a pretty fierce hankering for snapper now. <laughs> I always wanted to give that golden fish fiend a try. And, and Quake Valley sounds like a super cool place! Marvelous, marvelous. Then it seems you've already made your decision. Shall we meet, say, tomorrow morning at the big station? Hope you all have a wonderful night's sleep. Sweet dreams. John, you're finally up! We've got to get going pronto! Daniel and William are already waiting for us at the big station. Alright, 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 alright. Well, I think this is a good point to leave off. I think the next part is probably going to be going, taking us to where we were before, where we got that last power. So thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll be back again with some more Eastward.